Okay, I'm in the uh, Boracay uh, beach here and just going to show you in this, uh, this short video how to do um, shoot, shoot at night basically and show you, I'm actually shooting now in, using the 600D and a 50mm lens just using natural light, well the light in the environment not using any LED light. So we'll have a look now as well how you can set the aperture and the difference in the different lens types when you're shooting uh, uh, late at night in a situation like this. So the, the trick when you're recording at night here, so what I'm using here is the Canon uh, 50 millimeter 1.8 uh, lens. It's at the maximum aperture, you can just see there, possibly on the screen. And um, the maximum ISO when you're filming at night, um, I say all I'm using here is natural light. I've got a kind of a flash just on the camera, but it's not, it's not lighting the subject at all, it's sideways on. And the subject uh, joy is lit there just by a, a single candle. Um, and you see the background lights there, there's a nice out of focus area behind because the maximum aperture allows you to do that when it's set up 1.8 even 2 you get a, a nicer this bokeh effect showing um, any lights or anything in the background is very blurred so um, sorry you can move a bit, you can move a bit. so um, now because it is dark I put it um, just to get the, if I show you there the um, setting for the uh, exposure it is just about right in the middle there I've exposed it for Joy's face there I've got a candle it's hidden behind a, a light on the uh, table here just to um, just to mask because if the flame was in the middle of the uh, uh, exposure there it would actually spoil it. In fact if I move that sideways I'll just show you that just quickly. If I move this sideways you'll see the well, you barely see it actually it's hidden away but I put the flower in, in the foreground the table flower just to actually show the out of focus areas in the foreground too. And uh, so purely by now uh, the candlelight plus there's a very uh, weak light above us um, to get, get the lighting effect so all, everything is um, basically ambient light I'm not using any uh, artificial light here to light the scene so again the ISO set to 1600 if I am um, you know that's a good ISO to have any higher than that you start to get a bit a bit too much grain in the photo in the film um, and really if I uh, reduce the ISO just switch that recording off for a moment I reduce the ISO down you see it goes it goes a little bit too underexposed there 800 and uh, although you can go up to 3200 uh, there to make it you know very bright a little bit even overexposed there there's no point you get too much grain at 1600 you see there with a wide aperture lens it allows you to get a you know a very nice uh, exposure there pretty well just using natural natural lighting on the scene so you don't need a big video light to uh, light the scene for you so that's using the 50 uh, millimeter 1.8 lens and there's one advantage of having that lens I think is to be able to allow you to, to shoot scenes like this without the use of uh, basically uh, LED or video lights okay I just wanted to show you the same uh, effect here on the uh, change the lens from the 1.8 just to give, show you why the uh, this maximum uh, aperture is so important on lenses when you're shooting at night. I've just put on the kit the standard kit lens which is an 18 to 55 and I've tried to mimic uh, you know I've got pretty well a 15 millimeter uh, uh, focal length on the lens so I've tried to mimic the 50 millimeter lens pretty well uh, in how far it is in zoomed. Now immediately I put it on you can see there the actual uh, maximum aperture I can get on this lens at 50 millimeter is actually 5.6 and at 5.6, I've even put the ISO all the way up to 6,400, which is far too grainy. It'll appear very grainy. And even with that, you can see there, um, the shot is, uh, is way underexposed there with that. So it's almost impossible to shoot on one of these at night time. And if I decrease the ISO to the, what the, um, the 1.8 millimeter lens had on it the 50 millimeter you see it's just a useless shot completely so that's the reason if I put that up again so you get an idea and I'll show you back to that again so it's, it's too low so that's why you need something like a very wide aperture lens to shoot at night in natural lighting conditions in a, in a restaurant or wherever it is indoors whatever even outdoors where it's uh, where it's night time where there is some light uh, without relying on video if I, if I put the video light on uh, joy here you can see it's kind of a different effect altogether and it gets the exposure if i move the exposure i'll move the light back a bit you can see there but obviously that's um 
as adding a huge amount of new light to the scene and it's going to be very uh, conspicuous when you're doing it and it's an extra thing to actually be carrying around with you another video right that's another way of doing the lighting but um, uh, as i said not so nice you also lose as you can see there on the uh, lens you also lose at that sort of aperture in the background there's a lot less blur i mean you can't really get so much bokeh or blur effect as you did on the 1.8 at the same setting so um, that's again one reason, a good reason why you would use the uh, a 50 mm 1.8 or a wide um, maximum wide aperture lens to be able to shoot at night uh, without the aid of artificial lighting. You can see on this is the I've just put on the uh, uh, Canon 50 mm 1.2 lens here just to give you a show the difference. And a huge amount of light now coming into this lens. I mean, between a 1.8 and a, and a 1.2, you've got two, you've got, I don't know, it's quadruple, you've got at least double or more the amount of light coming in. So even when it's very low light, like a candle light underneath Joy, a light above, you can see there how bright the picture is. And in fact, I reduce the ISO down to 800, I don't need to go to 1600 on it. Um, but if I go to 1600, I'll show you, it's, it's actually becomes overexposed, to be honest, as you can see there. So a huge amount of latitude on this lens. Um, just to get away with 400 probably, a bit too underexposed, but 800 you get a great quality uh, picture from that and uh, as you can say, perfect exposure there with a, with a candle, pretty well a candle and a, a small light above. So um, that's using the 1.2, uh, as I said, difference between that and the 1.8, 50 minute 1.8, well you, you judge yourself on the pictures, I mean to be honest. It's nice to have the 1.2, it's a lovely quality lens, but it's over 10 times the price of the uh, 1.8, 50mm 1.8 Canon lens. So, probably, you know, you could get, you can, as you can saw, you can get an extremely good picture there with a 1.8, 50mm 1.8 as well. But uh, anyway, that's the difference in the effect. And um, again, I hope you found that tip useful in how to shoot in low light conditions uh, using, as we can see here, very wide uh, aperture. Um, the maximum aperture lenses.